Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part of this Russian campaign and I believe in this episode we're going to be facing the Mongols once again as they are besieging Yerevan and if you look at the army it has uh, lots of siege equipment so I have a feeling when I do this end turn uh, we're going to deal with them uh, I'd rather get on with trying to conquer cities but uh, until the Timurids uh, sort them out, I think we're going to start our problems. So I'll end the turn and we'll see if that is the case. And we're actually nearing turn 150, so uh, we're nearing the end of the game, definitely. Let's speed that up. And that's quite useful, actually, that that Imperial army has moved about. Because um, we've had trouble taking the uh, capital of the Holy Roman Empire, so it'll be good to try and uh, take it. England? Why England sending a spy into Hamburg? Unless their lands are nearby. Right, uh, he's quite loyal actually, so I will accept that. Um, though he's in Novgorod, which is not near any front unfortunately. Uh, Explorers build for short. Uh, Stockholm is still rioting, but I have built some more priests and a spy. Um, <coughs> again, it's not really helping. I think nothing here. Maybe councillors' chambers might help. But we are having real problems there. And we're number one for everything, which is great. Uh, so, yes, England. Oh, yeah, they own this region, don't they? Antwerp. So, actually, that makes sense. So, they could actually be sending an army soon. But I'm sure we can fight that off. Now I'm wondering what happens. Oh, let's just go for this stuff. So another general in the old capital. What did the Mongols do? Because that is strange. Um, they're now at war with Hungary. So that must be yeah, the last Hungarian region. Uh, oh god, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Right, just stay there. Didn't want to click that. Yes, their region here. Yeah, they still own Antioch. But it looks like the Mongols have actually broken off the siege, which is excellent. Gives us a chance to retrain. Um, this spy, right, I can try and find the Timurids, aren't I? Uh, it looks like they're heading south because they are at war with the Mongols now. Uh, let's just go there. Yeah, we can only see one army at the minute. But hopefully they'll... Um, destroy some of the uh, <coughs> Mongolian armies. Right, uh, the Turkish capital which is lightly defended that we can now besiege should take well we should be able to auto resolve that to be honest um, oh relationships worse than the uh, Turks consider that. Uh, once he's taken that there's a choice to make either go towards here which is owned by the Mongols, or head towards here, which get closer to uh, our final target, which is Jerusalem. We're still a way off that yet, because we have to um, capture at least nine more cities, but that will be one of them. We've also got uh, Constantinople. Oh, we could actually f face in this turn. That's quite interesting, with our Grand Duke, who's got amazing authority. Uh, we'll do that in a minute, actually. But first, yes, we want to uh, besiege Zagreb. So I'll do that. So we can get, oh, probably ought to resolve that, yeah. I think we'll be able to win that. And, yeah, the Milan's are allies, so that's not a problem, although they're in the way at the minute, because I do want to go. Yeah, I'll go after Innsbruck, because it's <coughs> very lightly defended. Um, I'm going to. Oh, that general hasn't got much left. It's only 40, 50. Yes. But I will take him with me. Um, let's group some of these. Actually, no, we'll just take them as they are. And oh, we've now got problems here. That is annoying. I'm gonna have to just, I think I have to leave those troops there. Um, although I will take one unit take these two guys uh, just well, I'll resolve that 
Just get rid of him. That's still enough men to uh, take in as what should be. Right. So now let's try this. Do I want to try and auto resolve again? Because <laughs> uh, I could do that and still have another army to bring next turn. I'm actually going to do that. You know, you, that may, you may think I'm crazy for doing that after the uh, problems we've had, but uh, it will speed things up because I can just bring another army. I'm pretty sure they can't retrain that quickly. And now they've got this general going off as well. Even less men. Oh, clear victory. That's all right. Uh, I'll ransom them. No, nope. rejected. That's fine. And I'll just prestige. And this time we should win. Oh, that's their faction leader, Frederick the Honest. They've got good command. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Fine armor. Never really look at the retinue, to be honest, on this on this uh, playthrough. But some of them are quite useful. There's um, I think one of them is Holy Grail if you go on a crusade. So there are certainly one things. So fierce in battle, which is excellent. Feels unappreciated though. Is that this guy? Why do you feel underappreciated? You just want a battle. Mm, okay. Fair enough. So that's that under siege. We've got Zagreb under siege. Uh, the Turkish capital. <coughs> so it's all going quite well at the minute. Um, I suppose... Oh yes, I was concentrating on... This place. Ah yes, with an army trying to remember yes we weren't taking that first we were going to Rhodes first yes if I remember correctly uh, oh that's annoying we're, we're we're at war with the Mongols there what I'm gonna do is just disembark here I think uh, yeah clear victory uh, no oh so that means the city's open? No, ah. That other army in there must have been totally destroyed. Um, Denmark doesn't... What does Denmark got to do with it? So that's another city uh, under siege. was excellent. <coughs> and to be honest, it looks like the Turks own that one as well. Yes. Um, See, Denmark hates us now. They've got abysmal relations now. So I'm now feeling this army will attack Hamburg. So as a precaution, just going to deal with some more units. We can afford it. Uh, and also we've got Magdeburg. Um, just keep retraining the troops there. Head them out soon. And we're still making loads of money. So, luckily for us, we didn't have to fight that battle with the Mongols. And next turn, I think you're going to see a lot of cities falling under our control. Let me just check there. Isn't great public order around here. That's a low. Just want to. Yeah, Thessalonica as well. Not not great. Um, oh yeah, there was this, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, let's let's see what we can do. Oh, neutral faction, we're not at war with them. Ah. Right, that's interesting. If I was at war with them, I'd attack him straight away, but I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide in these woods. Um, no, he's not hiding. Right. No, oh, fine, just go there. Uh, I'm going to see if this army moves out. And if it does, we'll then just besiege this city. I don't really have a spy nearby to try and... Um, can you build build spies from here? No, it has to be a city. Build another spy. I don't think we'll be able to reach it in one turn, but you might be able to open the gate before that other army comes and relieves the city. That will be the uh, best situation. Because I fear if I auto-resolve that battle, I'd lose it. But... Um, there's a possibility they'll win it as well. So I think what I'll do, yes, uh, it's that time again to end the turn and hopefully next turn you'll see some uh, 
City's fallen under our control at least. I hope so. On turn 150 as well, I suppose that would be good. Yep, so Explorer's Guild. I just accept them now, I've got so much money. Rioting still happening. I have a feeling Stockholm's going to completely revolt and we're going to lose it, but we can take it back. Um, I think it's the religious situation by. It's because these Danish cardinals are changing it. So, because, um, say the uh, religion was massively Catholic and a small Orthodox, that would be okay, even for us, even though we're an Orthodox faction. It's when it's sort of 50 50 or close to it that you have problems. At least that's what I've heard. Um, what I'll do is get some more priests. Just see if we can balance it out a bit. Uh, Milan has a truce now with the Mongols, but it doesn't really affect anything because they're miles away from each other. Ah, yes, see, that army's moved away, but our spy won't reach there till next turn. So I'll do that next turn and then see if um, we can get him. Oh, whoa, just noticed that full-size Byzantium army Ooh, with cannons and stuff like that. Mm, I have a feeling they were going to try and take Rhodes, but I just beat them to it. But we're not at war with them. Um, I don't think they want to be at war with us, so I don't think it'll be a problem. But they may decide to attack afterwards, but this is the first place I'm going to go for. Clear victory. So that's Rhodes under our control. Just settle in there. Uh, can't retrain anything till next turn, I guess. But that's a nice sort of stepping stone. We can probably try and take uh, Crete. Let's all resolve this one. Yeah, clear victory. And that's death for one of their generals. Uh, and this one, I'm going to sack the settlement. Just to get a few florins. To be fair, most of this army is um, mercenary, so we can't even retrain them really. But that's another place under our control. I'm just going to quickly check on the Timurid situation. Yeah, it looks like they're heading down towards yeah Baghdad. And actually, they may have already fought here. Well, it'll be interesting to see if they've actually fought. Because look, those two armies are going to meet that. That would be cool to watch, but unfortunately we won't be able to see it. But yeah, that's definitely cool. I've never really had this situation before. Um, when I've played the game this far into it, either the Mongols are weakened, or they sort of move to a different area. I've never actually seen the Timurids and Mongols fight each other. It's actually quite interesting um, how that's developed, to be honest. Um, I, mean, I think the Timurids will win outright because they've they're just the new army, whereas the Mongols have sort of been whittled down a bit. So they're still quite strong, but uh, nothing. And this guy, he's a 10 star general. Yes. Uh, he's he's not the faction leader or anything. Oh, and there's the uh, elephants if you wanted to know what they were like. Uh, they can be pretty deadly. His dread is maximum as well. But yeah, I'm surprised he's not the faction leader. Similar with the Mongols, actually, that they're their highest decorated general wasn't their faction leader, which is kind of strange. Um, you'd think in that sort of society the strongest warrior would be in charge, at least. Right. Anyway. Doesn't really concern us. Ah. They brought some troops. And there's another massive army coming along. Uh, let's see what happens. Clear defeat. Okay. Yeah, I should have really fought that. No, oh, why has he gone that way? <sighs> oh, I wanted him to retreat this way. Oh, well. Well, they say released our prisoners. That's annoying. But anyway, yeah, we've got this to contend with. I don't think we'll be able to resolve that. But anyway. 
Um, apparently we can move to that castle, but that army's in the way. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what I happens then. Oh no, let's do it. But unfortunately our spy did not um, open the gate for us. That's another one to be watching. Alright, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about that actually. Because it's trying to decide what this army is going to do next. Whether they're going to head up to Vienna or down to Ragusa. Um, I think I might have to make s uh, recruit some more troops here. Which is what I'm going to do. Just to get a larger garrison. Unfortunately. Ooh! Just some more crusading armies. This time Spanish. Actually, where is the crusade? Is it Jerusalem? I cannot remember. Fortunately, because we're not a Catholic faction, it doesn't say. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's lit up. It's Jerusalem. That's their target at the minute. Okay. Uh, that means the Mongols are going to be at war with a lot of people. Which they are. That's fine. Right. Let's see if we can win this one <laughs> from an auto resolve. Oh yeah! Well, to be fair, I'd go with that. I'd rather have a victory here than at the other place. Because this is quite a big city which we're actually going to sack. They still don't like us. Well, let's just re... that's expensive actually. But that's their capital now under our control. And that's a pretty good city. Um, yeah, Nuremberg has now become their capital where they're greatly reduced. I'm also going to take Innsbruck next turn, I'm guessing, which would leave them probably just these two regions. Mm. But that now puts us up to 37 regions, so we only need um, ooh, count eight more, including Jerusalem. Oh, and Constantinople. I didn't think about that, but Constantinople will be will fall before Jerusalem does. So what can I do with this army? Is it ready to move out? I think the answer is more or less. Um, the better units can move out straight away. Uh, let's. I'll just delete those ones there. Uh, group them together. There we go. So that's already a another army that we're going to sit on this bridge. Um, properly join them up with some of these men next turn. Form up quite a large army and go straight towards Nuremberg. Hopefully without any incident because yes they've got this army here with their faction air in but it's nothing. Do you understand? Well, I've got this general's not very good. The emperor as well. He's alright on authority but no chivalry. Command very poor. He shouldn't be a problem to uh, defeat in battle. Hmm. Just thinking, uh, is there anything else I can do this turn? There's obviously the situation in Constantinople, but not much else. Uh, I haven't got a spy here, but I have got this priest. I'm just going to go down here. Ah. I was hoping there would be a smaller garrison here, and it's got their faction air in, not faction air, faction leader in as well. Mm, yeah, I was hoping, uh, that was likely to defend it because it's got some mines here, so it's a bit more profitable for us. That is a slight annoyance. But now that the Mongols have moved away, can we move out this army? Because they're all just sort of sitting there. We've got units here as well. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, can I leave just these two? Yes. Let's just destroy this. Rebel army. Um, try and destroy this Turkish fort actually, that would be quite a good thing to do. So what I'm going to do is group some of these guys together. Join them up. Yeah, let's get some of these guys over here. 
And just free these guys. Three more units. I'll just t actually know to take them. Yeah, just take them. That's full stack army. Head down there, take that, which means the units in here are free to move about. But the question is where to take them. I can put them on this ship and uh, sail around here, maybe towards well, the new Turkish capital. So you think I will do that actually, because it's a small garrison. So what I'll do is just leave leave just no I'm have to leave more than that <laughs> uh, may I have to leave more than that it's annoying uh, nothing really gives you actually I can prove the religion here for a start but I will there you go that should be alright for now I want more troops on the front line. So that will head round here <coughs> towards the new Turkish capital. Um, I'm a bit worried about Byzantium, what they're going to do next. Because if they attack, they could besiege straight away, to be honest, with their cannons. That could be a problem. Uh, but apart from that, and Venice, I suppose. So I think we'll do one more end turn phase and then probably play the next turn out. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about this guy. Actually, that changed the situation here, actually. I completely forgot about him. And he could have been down here by now, if I'd remembered. That is annoying. <laughs> Move him down. Uh, keep retraining guys here, because they could join this new army. Actually, these guys, how old are they? Well, he's quite young, so he could be the one that actually heads all the way to um, Jerusalem, perhaps, even. Mm, that would be interesting. Hmm, definitely. We'll see how the battle Constantinople goes before moving our eyes onwards. Uh, but yes, first, let's end the turn again. Oh, yep, there you go. As I feared. But they haven't actually attacked. They just lay siege. Oh, God, that's the massive Egyptian army. Looks like we will need those extra men. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get that guy. Novgorod with that. hundreds of others that are there. <coughs> Death stalks land. Oh, there's a carriage affected. Our spy, because I'm guessing the city already had plague. That's annoying, but um, actually, could he spread it? Um, if you get in there, you've now spread the plague there. Unless you already had it, of course. So that's quite useful. So we're now at war with Byzantium, unfortunately. And uh, it looks like we'll be at war with Denmark. So, oh my god, look at all these generals. Uh, some there. Some there. And some there. God. All these generals, but they're nowhere near where they need to be. So you use them. Oh, Pabal sees at war with the Mongols. I wonder if they actually sent an army then. <coughs> oh yeah, they have. Look, look. You don't actually often see that. Actually, it's very rare when you see a um, papal army. Now, ah, yes. So this Venetian army is heading south towards Ragusa. Um, that's going to be a problem because we can't get the men there in time. And if I sit them here, they'll attack. What I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to move them here. They may decide to attack. I don't know. Yeah. That's going to be annoying, right. 
Oh, looks like we can get the Milanese involved in this fight. <laughs> Our allies. We don't actually need them though. And oh, war declared. Are they not a war? Okay. Right, war declared. <coughs> Milan, Holy Roman Empire. Fair enough. Milan of France. There. Okay, this is actually had. Oh, Byzantium didn't like them anyway. So that attack has actually affected uh, the balance of Europe. Um, I'm guessing France was or is allies with the Holy Roman Empire, but they are also allies with Milan. And now Milan have yeah declared war on the Holy Roman Empire, thanks to me, which I don't think they had a choice in. They've actually broken their alliance with France. Hmm. So there now could be um, more conflict. Um, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But that's another citadel under our control. And now we've got to decide whether to head south or north. Um, because Venice is probably the greater concern now. They have lots of large armies. They're probably one of the last factions on the map that can truly challenge me, at least in Europe. Um, <coughs> and obviously we've got the uh, Mongols and Timurids in Asia. But uh, nothing in Europe, I'd say. And it looks like... They moved about a bit, but I don't know if there's been any fighting. Um, he's a bit stuck, he can't cross the bridge. That is annoying. But uh, I'm sure they'll fight in a minute. This guy's going to keep heading towards that fortress. And I don't think actually this turn we can do much else. Because unfortunately, this Egyptian army is now standing outside the city. Oh, what's this? Trade increase. Yes. Excellent. Yes, attack a neutral faction. Oh! Gates are actually open. This guy... Why did I have that boat there? I have no idea. But actually, can he join with the other fleet? Um, that would be useful. Yes, okay, that's alright. We might need those troops for here as well. Um, so we're now at war with Egypt, another country. Um, we're at war with a lot of people. But Milan has stayed true and been our allies for ages, it seems like. But what we'll do is we'll get some more of these troops. So that's that done. Sorry if in this episode my voice sounds a little low or quiet. Um, it's quite dry at the minute. But I still wanted to make this episode this week. Um, had a bit of a cough. So I don't want to speak too loudly because might, I might start coughing, which you don't want to hear, I'm guessing. Um, but I feel like um, after the gaps, and I think I started this Let's Play something like three years ago and I've gaps of sort of six months without doing an upload I want to sort of try and finish this maybe even before the end of this year so I can sort of move on to something else because we are nearing the end of it um, when you get to this sort of part of the game there's not a lot that can stop you unless you become a real idiot and uh, lose every battle um, I don't know why they didn't attack straight away but the AI don't seem to do that even when they have sort of cannons and stuff and could easily knock down the walls they decide not to which is if the human player would probably decide to because they have such an advantage they're going to win that battle unless I'm very lucky but uh, don't mind losing that I can retake it um, and that's because I'm now at war with them this opens their capital to being assaulted by us so what I'll do I think there was the yeah, there was this guy here, but unfortunately Nuremberg has plague now. So I'm a bit um, annoyed about that. Because if I take it, then my army has plague. But I do want it. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is 
get some of these troops out, I suppose. Oh, they are stuck because of this small army. Ah, now they're alright. Um, What I'm going to do is get, let's get these horsemen going. Damn it. Oh, I thought there was more men in there. We didn't take up so many men. Keep doing that. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just take the mercenaries. I don't mind them grouping together because they're just mercenaries. Uh, oh no, they don't. Keep building the churches and the oh, that's first level church. Okay, yeah, they they don't like us that much anymore, but we'll just have to take it. And uh, that should be more than enough for army to take Nuremberg. So yes, I think that's a good place to end this particular episode. Sort of slightly shorter episode, a half an hour. Um. Hopefully next time, well, we're probably going to lose roads, but we've got to decide what to do with the army here, and sort of, we've still got troops up here, and of course, probably a fight, although I could. Let's have a look what it's looking like. Yeah, I'm actually going to leave that till next episode, so you have to wait. But um, I could even auto resolve this, you know. <laughs> so I might even do that just to see if um, that will go in our favour. But that's for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you next time.